Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the NetWTW08CS PSOD errors. This type of error can arise due to file corruption or outdated drivers, but fortunately it can be fixed really fast. Solutions can vary from updating or rolling back drivers, resetting Windows, or even using Windows Restore to restore the PC to a previous point in time. So let's take a look in depth at these solutions and you'll be able to fix this error sooner than you think. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is updating the network device drivers. To do that, click the Start button in the lower left corner and simply type Device Manager. Then click Device Manager. Afterwards, locate your network adapter, right-click it and choose Update Driver. Click on Search automatically for drivers. Follow the instructions on the screen to complete the process. Another useful solution could be running the blue screen troubleshooter. To do that, you have to click the Start button in the lower left corner and just write Settings. Then press Enter. Just go to the Update and Security section. Then select Troubleshoot from the menu on the left. Click the blue screen from the right pane and click Run the Troubleshooter. Follow the instructions on the screen to complete the troubleshooter. You can always try the Microsoft built-in troubleshooter for the BSOD errors. This is probably the easiest solution for almost BSOD issue because it basically solves the problem for you. Another great solution could be rolling back recent Wi-Fi driver updates. To do that, click the Start button in the lower left corner and simply type Device Manager. Then click Device Manager. Then double-click Network Adapters to expand that category. Next, right-click a Wi-Fi network adapter device for which you have recently updated a driver for and select Properties. Then, go to the Driver tab and then press the Roll Back Driver button. You then have to select a reason for why you're rolling back and then click Yes to confirm. Restart Windows after rolling the driver back. This resolution applies to users that have encountered this error after recent network driver update. It can also happen that if your Wi-Fi network adapter driver is outdated, just update it with the driver updater software. You can also scan the system files. You can do that by clicking the Start button in the lower left corner, then writing CMD. Then right-click the command prompt and run as administrator. But before you utilize the SFC tool, enter the following command in command prompt and press Enter. Afterwards, just restart Windows if the DISM tool makes any changes. Then reopen the command prompt and input SFC slash scan now in the prompts window. Then press enter to initiate the SFC scan, which might take 20 to 30 minutes. Restart Windows if the SFC scan informs you that it repaired files. Another useful solution could be rolling Windows 10 back to a restore point. To start with, Click the search button in the lower left corner and type run. Once you open the run window, type the following command. R-S-T-R-U-I. Then click OK to launch System Restore. Select the Choose a different restore point option if there's a recommended restore point. Then select the next option to continue. To see a full list of restore points, click the Show more restore points checkbox. If you're not sure what date to choose, just make sure to choose the oldest restore point you can. Press the next button to proceed to restore point confirmation and click finish to confirm your selected restore point and initiate the Windows restoration process. You have to note that rolling back Windows 10 will uninstall software installed after a selected restore point date. So you have to check what software you will need to reinstall afterwards. And lastly, another great solution is resetting Windows 10. To do that, just click the Start button in the lower left corner and then select the Settings button. Afterwards, click on Update Security within Settings to open a Windows Update tab. Then click the Recovery button in the left pane and then press the Get Started button for Reset This PC Utility. Then, in the following window, make sure to click the Keep My Files option to keep your files after Windows is reset. 
Afterward, select the next option and click Reset to restore Windows 10 to its original configuration. You have to note that resetting Windows 10 will only preserve third-party apps that came pre-installed with your PC. You'll need to reinstall any software you've installed yourself after resetting Windows 10. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.